our nation's capital is honoring Senator John McCain today. Now, he Washington will, will begin to say its final this weekend, farewell. Senator McCain is bound for Annapolis, where he will be laid to rest beside Admiral Chuck Larson, his one-time friend. Usually I come here, I'm not thinking of John McCain, but today I am. Now, the platoon leader with the 4th Infantry Division in Vietnam, 19, November 68 to November 69, so some of my folks are on the wall. I did about three or four tours on the USS Bainbridge DLGN-25. I served in Vietnam twice. In 1970, I went there and on April 28, 1970, I was in a plane crash in a gunship at AC-119 and it took me a long time to get over and understand and mourn the loss of my crewmates and mourn the loss of all the people on this wall behind me. McCain knew and understood what I'm talking about, and I respected him for it. You know, my unit came home from Vietnam in December of, in 1970. Our withdrawal is part of this thing that draws into question what your service was all about, what it was for, and then the POWs coming home is another step towards the end. Now, what I know about John McCain, okay, different politically than I am, but I understand that he was tough-minded, but I also understand that he was fair. He was always willing to look for a compromise, and that's the thing that I find most important. Because he was that kind of person that would, uh, would cross the aisle, but he was also that kind of person that um, always saw the, the, the bigger picture and, uh, and, and what that meant to the country. So it wasn't, uh, it wasn't what I'm fighting for uh, against somebody else. It was what's good for the country. And as much as I agreed and disagreed with Senator McCain, he never knowingly lied. He never knowingly cheated someone. He was an honorable man. And um, yeah, we've lost a, a, a we've lost a special person.